I think we need women's representation because it's the right thing to do. It's the fair thing to do. That's issue number one. They're citizens, they're part of human society. Also, it's important that we capitalize on their creativity, their intelligence, their practice to combine with what we know in terms of the challenges that we're trying to deal with, particularly to sustainably address those challenges. Conference is a really important opportunity to talk about where gender fits and to hear how people are engaging with gender as an issue, as an opportunity, what struggles they have, even though I've done some of that, and also to figure out where are the lessons and perhaps good practice that we can reflect in the, in the product. The Good Growth Conference is very important for me personally because it brings all the practitioners who's doing the same thing that I do right now, which is bringing all people together to create a joint action in order to ensure the sustainability of a commodity. It's changing, but it will take a decade to make that full change so where people see the opportunities, want to get involved, and then become involved. Cualquier tipo de violencia, eh, emocional, eh, económica, física, tiene que parar. Hoy es urgente tomar conciencia, conocer qué es lo que está pasando en el mundo y tomar acción para que la mujer pueda vivir en igualdad de derechos y que tengamos las mismas oportunidades que los hombres. I'm Lisa, uh, I'm from Barbados, which is an island in the Caribbean. I am an international consultant, working mostly on gender and environment issues, policy, strategic advice, uh, program development. We need to understand what are the barriers for them to be doing sustainability work. Are they even involved in the value chain? Um, do they have a power, do they have voice? Uh, may, could they be champions for sustainability and how can we help them to do that? Soy Mónica Andrade, soy de Ecuador. Hace 15 años trabajo en el campo del desarrollo sostenible, particularmente en los temas de ambiente y energía. Es importante conocer y reconocer lo que hacen y luego darles las herramientas para eh, que consigan un empoderamiento, sobre todo económico, si es que estamos hablando de producción. So I've worked for nonprofits, um, and nonprofits are often heavily dom dominated by women. Um, they are seen as perhaps not paying as well as other jobs, and so women go into the nonprofit sector. Um, and yet, when you look at the largest organizations at the higher level, there's still frequently men leading them. So for me, it's always like, what opportunities are we losing by not including everybody? We have evidence from countries as varied as Brazil, China, India, South Africa, the United Kingdom, that when women control more household income, either through their own earnings or through a cash transfer, children benefit as a result of more spending on food and education. We see the difference. We see the difference not just in benefits to them, but we see the difference in benefits to their households, to their children, to the communities, uh, you know, and to sometimes countries as a whole. And so it's not to say that they're the only beneficiaries, but what we found over time is that by doing sound social and gender analysis, you actually have a better understanding of problems and you come up with better and more sustainable and more inclusive solutions. If women had the same access as men to resources, that means finance, education, land rights and land management, 150 million people would stop going to bed hungry. We need to think about the voices of indigenous women. We need to talk about the voices of young women and older women because they have different perspectives and different expectations. We need to talk to people with disabilities to understand how the issues that we're dealing with, whether it's disasters or environmental change, might affect them. And it means that when we do that, we need to make sure that there's sign language, that there's braille opportunities for communicating in materials, that there's access to them to be able to come into the room and be able to participate in the meeting. In this context, in the society, where many times the woman has to position more strongly, exists the solidarity and fraternity between women. Eh, y aquí me gustaría mencionar una palabra que para mí es súper poderosa, que es sororidad, que, que significa el, 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 el soporte, el apoyo entre mujeres para poder salir juntas adelante. We are all part of the problem and we're all part of the solution.